Welcome back once again as we continue on in building the seats for this two seat buggy. Last week I did a uh, kind of an oddball joint, really stirred the conversation in the comment section and I really got quite a kick out of it. You know, a number of you mentioned that this reminded you of a bridle joint. Well, a bridle joint is a pretty common joint when you bring two pieces together for a 90. And it comes from, in my thinking, you know, being raised around horses, that it's kind of like the, the mouth of a horse and you put the bit in the mouth, you know, when you put the bridle on the horse. Well, that's kind of a bridle joint. What I did last week was kind of that style, except it was done on an angle. Now, a number of you thought that this should be a 45 degrees, and that's where I got caught in the trap also, assuming because it was a 90 degree joint, that this should be a 45. Well, the thing about it is that it didn't come uh, clear through the corner of the joint. It had to come a little shy of that. It ended up being kind of a blind joint. Now I called it a mortise and tannin and it's kind of a mortise and tannin. Number of you mentioned that it's a bridle joint. Well, it's kind of a bridle joint. It's a blind tannin and the purpose is so that that end grain is not exposed from the, from the side of the seat. Now what you're gonna see this week is a little more jointery when the arms in the back are, are mounted to the seat frame. Well, there's a little shelf that's cut in, and that little shelf is the reason why this is a blind joint. This is where the screw is gonna fasten the arm and the seat back to the framework. So I think you'll kinda of understand this as we get going. I do appreciate all your comments. I really do get quite a chuckle out of them. Most of you are a whole lot smarter than I am and I really learned something from listening and reading through all your comments. So I appreciate all that. So we're gonna get into building the seat frame to its completion and assemble the seat back and the seat arms on these seats.
Well, as you can tell from kind of following through this, when I put on the little thumbnail that the devil's in the details, on seats, it really is that kind of a deal. On some seats, there are six different angles that have to come together. On this particular seat, I was dealing with four angles that had to come together. But when you change one angle, it's kind of like a domino effect. It affects all the other angles too. So, you know, maybe there's a formula out there. I have come through experience just to kind of get it close and then I can fine tune it to where it works. And most of these joints will disappear if it's done correctly. But seats are a complicated joinery puzzle. And uh, this is just a little example of seeing that. So appreciate you following along. Once again, thanks for watching.